back in a sleek ponytail that I look kind of like a naked mole rat situation. <laughs> it's not my favorite look, but it's hair wash day, so it's a little greasy and I had no other option. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I am so excited to film this video, you guys, because I've been waiting for this Abercrombie package to get delivered to my house for, I want to say, about three weeks now. It's been freaking forever. I think it was because of all the Black Friday, Cyber Monday fiasco. I definitely took advantage of the sales during that time frame. Also, just quick note, my background is like constantly changing because I've been doing a lot of work in this filming studio or my cloth-office. I'm moving furniture around and it's just looking like a bit of a mess, so I am facing you guys towards the door because <laughs> that's the only cleared out space in this room currently. But it'll get better, I promise. Like I said, I purchased quite a few things. It came in this giant box. I don't have my usual clothing rack with me right now, so I'm just going to be picking out things from this box. I tried on everything already, so I have my thoughts curated, and I can describe the fit for you, the sizing, the style, the quality, all that good stuff. I will also include try-on clips of everything that I bought on this side or this side. Before we jump in, I want to thank Oliata for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Thank you so much. I'm super excited. They gifted me this beautiful bag to feature in my video, and I'm going to be styling this for you in one of the try-on clips with some of the items that I purchased for this haul. If you haven't heard of Oliata, I actually collaborated with them once in the past before, and I became obsessed with their work bags. The brand is founded by two women who used to work in New York, and they saw the need for better quality, sustainable, and timeless work bags. They kindly let me choose a bag to feature in today's video, and I'm so excited because she is a beauty. I gave you guys a little bit of a sneak peek, but I will also put close-up clips in the video, but she is stunning. If you guys are familiar with my channel, this is kind of out of my comfort zone and my usual typical fashion style in a sense. This is a little bit more louder, it's a little bit more statement, it's definitely going to be an event handbag, but I wanted to add something unique to my collection and this just fit the bill perfectly. I'm actually planning on wearing this for New Year's Eve because I'm going to a fun holiday black tie event in DC. It's like a hotel event that they're throwing. It's like huge. I think the color of this is stunning and I love the juxtaposition between the gold and the silver. I mean, it has gold hardware, so I love that, but this color is like so, so pretty. I'm going to show you in this video how I styled this with some of the pieces that I bought from Abercrombie because they go so, so well together. I think this elevates any type of outfit that you put on. As you can see on the screen, I'm actually wearing this bag with the sweater that I hauled and it is perfect because I bought a really cozy knit sweater that's also in gray and I paired it with this satin mini skirt that I already had in my wardrobe. This is also from Abercrombie. I'll go ahead and link everything in the description below so you can check it out if you're curious. And for shoes, I just wore my chunky black loafers because I think it went really, really well with this outfit. You can really dress up any outfit with this bag. I really think that you can also dress it down if you want to use it for more casual outings. She is a beauty. I don't even think I mentioned the name. It's called the Echo Bag and it comes in a variety of different colors as well. I literally have nothing in my bag collection that looks like this, so I'm so happy to welcome her to my home. The bag also comes with this nifty little Oleata canvas tote situation, dust bag. Definitely check out Oleata to see all of the different varieties of bags they have. I'm sure that you'll find something that you love and it's perfect because it's gifting season. Oleata is currently featuring a holiday offer where you can get 20% off on selected items and gifting collections. Every purchase made through December 27th will actually receive a $100 gift card slash voucher, which is valid until April of 2024. So definitely take advantage of that. I also have a discount code with them for you. It's 20% off site-wide, so I'll go ahead and put the code here. It's Amy Oliata. Again, a huge thank you goes to Oliata for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now let's go ahead and jump into the Abercrombie haul. Let's go ahead and start off with the sweater that I'm currently wearing because this 
I think might be one of my favorite items from this haul. I got this really cozy knit gray sweater and it's actually pretty oversized. I got it in a size extra small. It makes me feel so happy that Christmas is approaching. The perfect sweater to lounge around at home, Christmas event with friends and family. It's just so nice. I love the material. It is so soft. The sweater is also very tightly knit with all these like different flecks of black color. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I think it makes the sweater look a little bit different than your typical gray sweater. I would say it fits a little bit boxy on me, but I like it that way. I don't like sweaters that are super close to my body. I'm a huge fan of this one. I want it in different colors now. <laughs> I think the arm length also is perfect on my petite frame. Obviously, if you want a closer fit, get a size down. If you want it more oversized, size up. Quality wise, I can't complain. I think it is beautifully made. I also really love a good crew neck. So this is right up my alley. Let's go into a different route. I actually purchased a pair of PJs, which is kind of not something that I'm into really. I hate sleeping with long pants, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what it is, but it bunches up on me as I roll in bed and it's super uncomfortable. So I always need to sleep in shorts. And this one is just so, so cute. It's that classic Christmassy, wintry checker uh, plaid print. I love the delicate little ribbons as the drawstrings cord here to cinch in the waist. I got the shorts in an extra small. I also got the top in an extra small. I will say I think the shorts run true to size. I think if you're in between sizes, you could possibly size down because it is pretty, it's pretty stretchy in my opinion. The fabric is like their classic flannels. It's very soft, really nice to the touch. And this is the top. I got the matching top, obviously. It is a long sleeve button down and has the same plaid print. Just as soft and plush, and I got this in a size extra small. I will say, I think you could size down for sure because this one does fit a little bit more baggy on me, which I don't mind because sleepwear, I tend to like a little bit looser on my body. So I will not be switching this out for an XX small, but if you're in between sizes, definitely size down in this one. I actually wanna wear this set to sleep on Christmas Eve so I can wake up on Christmas day wearing this. <laughs> okay, also this is super silly, but I got my dog Romper the same plaid PJ, it's, isn't it so cute? The, these are for dogs. Abercrombie makes dog clothing now. Is It's wild to me, but I am not complaining because I think they are adorable. Romper actually loves clothes because he thinks it's associated with treats. I got him a size medium and he's a Cavalier King Charles. He is about 22 pounds. So I got him a medium and it fits him perfectly. I also got him a little sweater. Let me show you. I mean, let's just look at this. I can't. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. It fits him so perfectly. It looks like it's made for him. So I'm obsessed with this. What a fun wintry design. Oh, and it's so soft. I feel like this is softer than a lot of my clothes. Anyway, moving on. I actually have, wow, this is a mess, two graphic tees to show you because I am currently in a graphic tee obsession moment right now. I get all of my graphic t-shirts very, very oversized. So I sized up two sizes to a medium. I usually wear an extra small for most of my Abercrombie things, but graphic t-shirts, I always size extremely up so that it can fit me like a little blanket. Love pairing this with some leggings or biker shorts, but you can also dress it up by tucking it into like a skirt or leather pants. I love it because it's not a stark white. It's more of a off-white cream color. Go with your normal size if you want something that's a little bit closer to your body and fits true to size, but I like it oversized and boxy. So I got a medium and I love it that way. It is a classic kind of boyfriend fit style. The fabric is incredible. It is so, so soft. It feels like a sleep shirt. So I'm obsessed with the material. The next t-shirt has London, England on it, which I also love. This is actually a different type of graphic tee. It's from their Abercrombie & Fitch 
Essentials line. It's the Easy Tee, and I also sized up in this to a medium. This is actually a little bit shorter in length this way than the other t-shirt. The Boyfriend Tee was a little bit longer, but also still boxy, but this is definitely way more boxier, like wider this way, but not as long. So it just depends on the type of fit that you like. I like both. If you want the t-shirt to cover more of your bum, I would go for the boyfriend tee. If you want it to be a little bit more boxy and wide, instead, I would go for the easy tee. I will say, I think the easy tee might be a little bit softer than the boyfriend tee, which is crazy because they're both really, really soft. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I have this thing. I'm very particular about graphic tees and locations as the image. I only get images of locations that I've actually been to before. I don't know, it's kind of like a weird OCD type of thing. Okay, so I have three pairs of jeans to show you. Let's go with this one first. This is the loose. Curve Love High Rise Jean. I got this in a size 25 short. I love the fit and style of this, like a lot. However, I do think that I need to exchange it for a smaller size because the waist gap is real. It's way too baggy on me. So I am going to try to exchange this to a size 24 instead of the 25 that I have on hand. But I really, really like how loose and comfortable these jeans are. It goes all the way down past my ankles, but doesn't drag with shoes on, which is perfect for me. For some reason though, the loose pant, I mean, I get it, it's loose, but it feels like the size actually runs bigger. So I would definitely size down in this if you can. Aside from that, I really love these pants. I love the color, it's just kind of like a pitch black. And yeah, I wanted like a loose black denim option. So this would have been perfect. I just need to exchange it. Let's go from darkest to lightest. So this one is a true mid wash denim jean. And this is a different type of style. It's called the high rise, the 90s relaxed curve love jean. And I also got this in a 25 short. Unfortunately, I think this runs, this color actually, I think runs slightly bigger because I got the same style of jean in a different color and that one fits me perfectly, but this one runs a little bit bigger. So I think there's a discrepancy with the size depending on the color. So if you're gonna get this color, I would say size down if you can. I'm gonna try to exchange this for a 24 short instead. And also this style is a little bit just a smidge slimmer than the loose pants, but they are still pretty loose and relaxed per the name. I got the same thing in the same style, same size, but just in a different color because I love these shades of tan. And this one fits me perfectly. Like I wouldn't be able to fit into a 24 in this one, which is kind of strange. It's a little annoying that there is a discrepancy in size with the color, but I think you can just kind of order it and return it if it doesn't fit you and do what I'm doing. But I love this shade of tan, so, so nice. And I do think that I like the 90s relaxed better than the look of the classic straight jean that I love. I have, I think, a total of five different colors in that. In that and I think I prefer this one, which is kind of sad too because have a lot of the other ones, but it's okay. I'm gonna wear all of them. <laughs> the loose ones I think is a very specific look and you do need to like style it right, but the relaxed 90s are like the perfect in between, you know? And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Again, a huge thank you to Aliata for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Make sure to check out their website for all the holiday gifting. Everything in their holiday like gifting collection is 20% off. And you can use my code for 20% off site-wide. You'll also get the $100 voucher for purchasing through that period. So definitely take advantage of that. I'll link everything in the description below so that it's easy for you to access. I hope you guys are having a great December so far. I literally cannot believe that we are nearing the end of 2023. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye!